Welcome to BDSM. Bloody, dreadful, shite, movies. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Bloody Dreadful Shite Movies. I'm Chris and some people say I have bad taste in movies. So, I'm on a mission to see if that's true by watching the most painfully bad movies I can find and trying to enjoy them. I'll be scoring each movie based on five categories. I know I said four in the trailer but don't write me any bad emails saying you forgot that. You forgot that. I know. I'm not silly. I just thought I'd spice it up a little bit. So, the first category is... Did I find it entertaining in any way? 2. Did it have a good story idea? 3. Was it boring? 4. Will I ever watch it again? Or 5. Would I recommend anybody else watch it? If it scores 4 or 5 points, it's definitely a cinematic kink. If it scores 3 points, it's just about in a cinematic pink. But if it scores 1 or 2 points, it's stuck in the cinematic stink. So let's find out what film I'll be watching for this first episode. Come on, surprise me. You'll be watching 2016's Pass Through, which is directed, written, and stars Neil Breen. The plot for this cinematic treat is, a messianic entity from the future travels to modern-day Earth to wipe out 300 million bad people and usher in a new era of peace. Mm, God, that sounds interesting. <laughs> hey, it sounds like Neil Breen has a buddy messiah complex or something. I think he must be Jesus. Okay. For those of you who don't know who Neil Breen is, he's a real estate agent turned movie director, story writer, and actor. But he has no movie training whatsoever. Apparently. Also, he makes Tommy Rousseau look like a fully rounded movie maker and classically trained actor. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Pass through has been has a rating of 4.7 out of 10 on IMDb and has such reviews as Not even a movie so bad it's good. I watched this movie with some friends. I'd seen trailers for other Neil Breen films and assumed they were also bad it's good type films. I was wrong, this is the most boring movie ever made. It's like an hour of Neil Breen walking through a desert saying terrible pseudo deep quotes. I played this movie at 2x speed and even then it was incredibly boring. A whole movie about Neil Breen just doing Neil Breen things, Neil Breen randomly walking around, Neil Breen taking to people about nothing really, or anything relevant, Neil Breen swinging around in the desert in a big circle of rocks for some reason, Neil Breen sitting on rocks looking around, Neil Breen making random people disappear, Neil Breen yelling at people. Oh, I can honestly say, I'm not really looking forward to this, but I said I'd do it. And here I am. So, see you in 90 minutes. I am not of this earth. I am artificial intelligence from Don't far it. into the future. I have taken on this human body in order Turn to communicate with the humans. I can move from one time plane to another. I can't go. Many things are going to change. I'm going to eliminate hundreds of millions of the human species. And those causing the wars have vanished. You are not going anywhere! Oh my god. <laughs> that has to be truly one of the worst made movies ever. Ugh, it's absolutely amateurish. The special effects look like a toddler did it. <laughs> so how am I going to enjoy this shit? Okay. Let's judge it right. Um, hmm. 
One, did I find it entertaining in any way? Um, I have to say, I find it far more entertaining than it had any right to be. The acting, oh my god, the acting is hellishly bad. Listen to this. Hey, it's me. Have you written any songs lately? I've been working on a couple new songs. And I'm really proud of them. Yeah, I've written like two or three. Yeah, I feel good about them. Yeah, you should come over and listen to them next time. You two are of no value to me on the streets. I'm all he's got in the world. Grandma, why'd you shoot her? Because I have absolutely no value for you two on the streets. <laughs> Why are we running? We have to keep running. Your mother's my sister. She was murdered. I swear to God, I take care of you. You're my niece. We have to keep running. <laughs> I wish the professor was here. He lives like a hermit at home now and surrounded by his collections of saddles and boots, he is so eccentric. He was so sure this was the area. He was so sure that this was the area. He never gets out of his hospital bed. Hey, have you found anything? Or seen something? Ah, some homeless bum. Nothing yet. Oh dear. But the acting mixed with the ridiculously bad special effects and poor movie making makes it a joy. It makes it funny. It is a intentional comedy. It's absolutely. He's a master of pointlessness. Oh. Ah oh dear, I, I'm not even going to spoil it for you. Um, so, number two. Did it have a good story idea? In a word. No! <laughs> it is basically just a poorly, badly written rip-off of the day the Earth stood still. Without a robot. Without a spaceship. It's it's a junkie, right? In the desert. And then he dies. And then he's reborn as a, a bizarre AI who wants to take revenge on the planet of all the bad people. <laughs> oh, it's truly bad. The story is a joke. So, nope. Not a great story. Number three. Was it boring? Surprisingly not. <laughs> Despite it having scenes of Neil Breen just wandering and doing mundane things. <laughs> but what kept it enjoyable and less boring was the inept movie making. I want to see what outlandishly shit thing was going to happen next. <laughs> okay. Mm. So, number four. Will I ever watch it again? Um, probably not. Because I don't think this is ever going to make it on telly. Ever. I don't think you're ever going to see it on like the Sci-Fi Channel or Sky Movies, Netflix or anything like that. I don't think even... Amazon, with it's full of absolute dog turds of movies, will actually put this on. But you never know. Neil Breen might have already applied, and so one day it might come on here. <laughs> Number five. Would I recommend anybody watch it? And I'd say yes. I'd say everybody should watch it once. 
and drinking the pure ineptness of story making, movie making and the lack of acting talent on everybody. I can't even say one person in this film had any acting talent whatsoever. But so it just made it so funny. So watch it. If you get a chance, get it. Really are. You won't be disappointed. <sighs> so somehow, Pass Through just managed to make it into the cinematic bank. Oh, flap me sideways. I've never heard it called that before. So that's it. Time to say goodbye. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my first episode of BDSM. And join me next time when I try to enjoy another Neil Breen movie. Faintful Findings. If you would like to join Chris on his painful mission, then come and join the BDSM Facebook group, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash BDS movies. Or you can contact the BDSM dungeon by email bdsmpodmovie at gmail.com.